Roar! And welcome to Midnight Readings. Today we'll be reading Epitaphs by Bal Bunny. Hope you enjoy! My epitaph? Applejack's face wrinkled as she smelled something bad. Why the hell are you asking a question like that? Stirring her lemonade, Dash gave a shrug. I was just thinking the other day. She glanced around at her other friends, gathered in Rarity's parlor. And no cracks. I can think just like every pony else, you know? Rarity and Pinky were busy getting the Monopoly board set up. And Fluttershy was rubbing the belly of a stretched out and purring opalescence. Soon none of them seemed to be paying attention. That just left Applejack and her confused look was already turning into a smirk. You don't want us making jokes. Sugar Cube, you shouldn't ought to give us such perfect straight lines. Dash forced her whole glare on Applejack. I'm serious, AJ. I mean, we all gotta go sometime, and your headstone's like your last words, carved in marble for the rest of whatever. You've only got that much space. She held her front hooves out and moved them around to show how wide and tall she remembered a headstone being. And the letters can't be too small or nobody will be able to read it. So, I was thinking, if you really had something you wanted to leave behind, you should probably figure it out early, so then you'd be ready if you ever, I don't know, crashed the wrong way into a mountain or something. Applejack nodded. Seems powerfully unlikely I'd be crashing into a mountain anytime soon, but yeah. She leaned forward and patted a hoof between Dash's ears. Could it be that our little ideas growing up? Will you? Dash batted Applejack's hoof away. I'm being totally serious here. I know you are, Dash. Applejack took a sip of her own lemonade. I want more than a pup when my folks went. But I don't reckon they ever gave a bit's worth of a thought of something like an epithet. Grant is the one probably putting love and wife and mother and love and husband and father on the markets. Exactly. Dash tapped her hoof on the table. That's why I've got to get mine all thought up now. I mean, imagine if you guys still arrived when I go. I will never even decide what awesome thing to write about me. It's so awesome, it deserves to go on my headstone. Headstone? Pinky popped out of nowhere right beside Dash, wrapped her lips around a straw in Dash's lemonade, and sucked the glass dry. Sounds like you two are having a grave conversation over here. She stretched her face into a toothy grimace. Her voice went all deep and croaky. Get it? Grave? Pinky... Rolling her eyes, Dash wanted to tell Pinky to be serious. That way like telling the wind to stop. If it did, it wouldn't be the wind anymore. Applejack's low, rough chuckle tickled Dash's ears. Well now, Pinky, I reckon I know what yours'll say. Applejack swiped a hoof in front of her. Pinkie Pie, she died laughing. Ooh! Pinky slumped forward onto the table, her chin resting on her hooves, her eyes half closed and focused on nothing. That'll be a way to go, huh? Get that pony elevator dancing the pale pony polka with me till he was laughing right along, then wham! She leaped up and slammed a banana peel smack dab in the middle of Rarity's fancy lace tablecloth. We'd both step on it, see? Then he'd grab me, I'd grab him, and we'd go sliding and squealing together right off into the netherworld! Oh now, really pinky! Rarity came up behind Applejack, her horn shimmering and the banana peel drifted upward inside a flex of silvery magic. You know that I much prefer such shenanigans outside. Sorry. The grin Pinky gave her did nothing to look sorry at all. We're talking about tombstones. Rarity flinched her magic faltering and dropping the banana peel onto the carpet. Why in the 
wide, wide world of Equestria would you be doing that? Because, Pinky's voice dropped again. It's coming to get you, Rarity. Hm. Rarity stuck her snout in the air. Some of us have a dignified passing plan, thank you very much. Planned? Dash pricked her ears up. She should have guessed Rarity would have this stuff all figured out. What are you going to have in your epitaph then? Rarity opened her mouth, but Pinky spoke faster. Here lies Rarity. She wasn't fashionably late for this party. Applejack coughed a laugh at that, and Dash couldn't help but squirting out a little one herself. Rarity's lips curved into something that could have been a smile, and she nodded to Pinky. I will certainly take that under advisement, but truly, I feel that my greatest accomplishments still lie within me. Of course, one can never foresee how and where and when, but if I were to go in the near future, well, element of generosity would sum things up nicely, wouldn't it? Be kind, came Fluttershy's breathly whisper. Dash turned and saw her blushing beside her. I, I always liked the sound of that for mine. Nah! Pinky blinked her eyes, and then suddenly became about five times their normal size. Here lies Fluttershy, she said in all high pitchy and sugary. If you don't mind, that is. Another blink, and she swung her regular face back around to Dash. And for you, Dashy, here lies Rainbow Dash. And over there, and over there, and a little over there too. That's got another laugh out of every pony. And Dash had to smile. You know, I kind of like that. And your idea too, Rares. I mean, I'd hate to write down an epitaph and then do something that was incredibly awesome and maybe not have time to change what I wrote down. Then it turned into this big thing with some ponies saying my headstone should say what I wrote and some ponies saying what I did later deserved more. She shook her head. It's just not worth the hassle. Flapping over to the sideboard, she grabbed a fresh glass of lemonade and took a swig. But a quick thought almost made her spray the stuff back out. She sprung and glared at Applejack. Hey, you never answered, AJ. And I even asked you first. So come on, spill. Pinky blew air through her lips. AJ's is easy. She reached over, grabbed Applejack's hat in her teeth and flipped it between her own ears. Here lies Applejack. Honest. She clapped her hooves. Get it? Lies. Honest. Applejack snatched her hat back. Ain't gonna be a hit tombstone for me. No way, no how. Uh-huh. Dash folded her front legs across her chest. And how are you planning on arranging that? Simple. They plant me at the edge of the orchard right by the road and scatter apple seeds over me. Applejack's voice got quiet. That's a marker worth having, I'd say. Then if any ponies... If they know you're down there, or not, can get a little shade or a little snack when they're passing by. Dash blinked, her throat feeling tight all of a sudden, and the door of Rarity's shop rattled. Hi! Twilight's voice called, and she came trotting in, tucking her wings to her side. Sorry I'm late. I thought the mayor was going to go on talking forever. She smiled, her face as bright and eager as always. Hope I didn't miss anything. Now Dash's throat was tight and dry. Nah, she managed to say. We're just, you know, shooting the breeze. <laughs> this is a weird one that I kind of just wanted to do for a while. So, hope you enjoyed. That was Epithaphs. I probably am mispronouncing that so badly. By Bal Bunny. Hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. And keep watching that moon. And a howling thank you to my Patreons.